I'm going to show you a tool that is so powerful and so affordable that it's going to be a game changer in the way you do keyword research. The coolest part about this tool is that it allows you to find low competition topics fast. This allows your content to rank higher and drive more organic traffic to your website. The tool that I'm talking about today is Low Fruits. And the reason why this is so amazing is because not only does it provide you a list of keywords for your niche completely for free, but it also analyzes the search result page for those topics to find forums and low domain authority pages on the search page. It even tells you which keyword is a low hanging fruit. And here's the best part. All of this comes with a pay as you go plan so you don't have to pay for the months that you're not using the tool. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to use this tool and how you can benefit from this tool. So to access Low Fruits, all you need to do is sign up using the first link in the description below and create a free account. And once you're logged in, you will be greeted with a screen which is similar to this. This is your dashboard. All the menus that you need to access are here on the left part of your screen. Now the first section over here are the ones which you will be using more often. This is the dashboard. You also get reports section. You also have the keyword finder. This is something that we're gonna use the most. And the tool also allows you to import data. So if you have a list of keywords that you've taken from external tools, you can actually import this into this tool and analyze the search results page for those topics. And then you have the list section, which basically allows you to shortlist all the keywords and put them together into a list. Now we're gonna look at all of these in further detail. In this section, you get all these settings related to your account. So if you have anything got to do with billing, settings, your profile, or any other information related to your account, you can access this right over here. And at the bottom, you get a section where if you need any help with using mm. the tool, if you need any tutorials, you can access all those settings in this section right over here. All right, so let's just look at the keyword finder to begin with, and this is the most amazing part of the tool. So I'm just gonna click on keyword finder over here. So finding keywords using this tool is pretty straightforward. Now here, what you need to do is type in your seed keyword. That's the easiest way to start, but you can also look at using keyword modifiers. Now let's just say that we're building a website about printers, for example, and I'm just gonna type in the seed keyword to begin with. I'm just gonna type in printer. And here we get additional advanced options. So this is just completely optional. You can in choose to include certain words if you would like, or you can also choose to exclude words. You can type in those words over here and the tool is gonna exclude those keywords from your list. The next thing that you can also do is you can enter your domain. You can either enter your domain and what the keyword tool is gonna do is basically filter the keyword list that it provides you and identify the keywords that are gonna be easier to rank based on the domain authority of your website. You can also enter the domain of your competitor and also analyze keywords around that. The other thing that I would recommend is enabling these extract PAA queries. Now these are people also ask queries and also extract related queries. So just make sure that you enable that. It just helps you identify topics which are closely related to each other, especially when we analyze those topics. And then you just want to click on find keywords. Now, Low Fruits is just going to take some time to analyze the keywords and get back to you. Okay, great. So it took about 45 seconds to find all the keyword ideas. It is able to find 3,498, almost 3,500 keyword ideas for the term printers for our niche. Now, one of the coolest part about this tool is that you don't consume any credits to actually access the keywords that it is able to find. So just notice over here, we had close to 2000 credits that I have in my account. And when I click on access, we still have about 2000 credits, the same amount of credits that I had before. And I'm now able to access all the various keywords that are there in this results page. I can actually look at them. I can click around. I can check out all the keywords and I'm still not having to pay a single penny. So I'm just going to walk you through some of the filters very quickly. And I really love these features of this keyword tool. So for example, you can click on topics and what this is gonna do is open up all the various high level topics that you get across all these keywords. So the keyword can actually be classified across uh, brands such as Canon and Epson. You can also filter these keywords based on, you know, the, the toner, the cartridges, even a few other aspects like Wi-Fi and a ton of other stuff that you can see over here. Now, so this is really helpful if you wanna figure out queries for specific kind of topics within your niche. So it helps you highlight the key high level topics within your niche. Now the next thing that you would want to know is the intent. So understanding pre-purchase intent, post-purchase intent, and even comparison. So best printers for, or is X printer better than Y? You can easily filter through all these kind of queries using these filters over here. 
Now, if you hover over these question marks over here, you can actually understand what these stand for and get more details about these filters. The next thing that you can do is shortlist based on certain analyzed queries. If you have analyzed certain queries, or if you want to see just the ones which have not been analyzed, so you can do that as well. And then if you want to include or exclude certain keywords from the list, I realized that this list actually contains a bunch of keywords related to 3D printing. So let's just say that my website is all about printing, but not 3D printing. And I don't want to cover topics about 3D printing. So what I could do is just click on exclude and just type in 3D and apply. And what this is going to do is just recalculate all the keywords and remove all the keywords related to 3D printing. So as you can see over here, the keywords have reduced from about 3,500 to 3,342. So all the 3D printing related keywords have now been removed. The other thing that you can also do is filter based on the number of words that you want in the keyword. So sometimes you come across keywords which are just two word keywords and that does not really tell you the kind of intent behind the query and why is somebody searching that on Google. Queries which are slightly longer typically tend to be questions. So if you want to very quickly get to those questions and longer queries, you can actually use this filter and just type in the minimum number of words, say as four and hit apply. And what that's going to do is just filter the keywords for, uh, you know, minimum four words. So over here, if you can see that it typically would have at least four words in the keywords that it shows after that. I'm just going to remove that for now. By the way, this channel is all about making money online. I used to spend hours in traffic during my nine to five job, but now the only jam that I deal with is the one on my toast. And if that's something that even you would want to do, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and let's get back to the video. Now, the other set of filters that I would want you to take a look at is the ones at the top over here. Now, this is pretty amazing as well. Now here you can actually click and view all the keywords as the name suggests. And this one is pretty helpful. It is question. This tab is actually going to filter through just the questions within all the keywords that it has been able to populate and you will be able to access all the questions very quickly and this is very helpful especially when you're starting out especially when you want to build a informational website so you can very quickly access just the questions that people are having related to the seed keyword or the niche of your website now here i have actually gone ahead and analyzed some keywords and i'm going to show you how to analyze keywords very quickly over here let us just identify some questions that we think might be relevant to cover on our website. So I'm just going to go over here and select certain keywords for us to analyze. So what are dot printers? What does a printer drum do? How to use Canon printers? This is a very broad one, but still worthy of covering. How to use a printer? What is a printer queue? Why a printer won't print black? Why printer won't print in color? So this is the opposite of printing black. Very similar query, but a different kind of an answer, I would imagine. HP printer not working. So that's very specific to a brand. So the answer is going to be slightly different for each brand. Which printer does not use ink? I don't even know if there are any printers which do not use ink. But interesting question that you may want to cover. Can printers be hacked? That's an interesting query. Which printer brand is best? So somebody's trying to buy a printer and they want to understand which printer to should they invest in. So we have about 11 keywords that we've selected now as i mentioned before that looking at these keywords does not consume any credits as you can still see that i have about 1991 credits but what does require credits is if you want to analyze these queries and find these data points which are there in this table so understand whether or not a particular query as a low competition query and understand what kind of competition does exist on the search result page that is going to consume credits so what we're going to do over here is we have selected 11 keywords and we'll just click on SERP extract and this is just going to run the result and the list is going to be populated very quickly. I've actually gone ahead and added a few more keywords to our list and it took about a couple of minutes to analyze those keywords and uh, here's the results. As you can see, there are a few additional pieces of information that is now visible once we've analyzed those keywords on the search results page. The first thing that I really find very interesting about this tool is that you actually don't need to open the search query in another tab and analyze the search results page. You can do that directly over here by clicking on this option over here. And you'll be able to see what kind of results are ranking for this topic on the search results page immediately without even opening a Google search result. And you can do that for all the queries, by the way. So here you'll be able to see that this is a low hanging fruit because it's a forum. And again, this is another low hanging fruit because it's a forum. 
And this is a Quora result. So again, it's a forum and again, a low hanging fruit. The other thing that you'll also find very helpful over here is the amount of words that each article has. So the first query is just about 757 words. Then you have about 660 words, 400 words, 400 words. So most of these articles are not very thorough. From what it looks like, it these are not very detailed articles. Plus it has forums. So this basically signifies to me that this is a great topic for which you can easily rank, especially when you're starting out, especially when you're a beginner. Now let's take a look at a couple of other examples. So here we have, how is printer ink made? I'm just gonna click on view the SERP option over here. And very quickly, I will be able to see a couple of low hanging fruits over here as well. And the reason why these are low hanging fruits is because this one actually has a domain authority of just 12 and yet it is ranking on the first page. And it only has about 411 words. Another option over here is how is printing ink made? This also has a domain authority of just 20. So this is not that big of a website. And again, the amount of words that it has in its article is just 600 odd words, not a very detailed article, and you should be able to outrank this article very quickly as well. One last example that I would like to show you over here is this one, should printers be left on? Now this is another topic that uh, Low Fruits says that it is a low hanging fruit. And the reason is very simple over here. Once again, you see a Quora result, it is a forum. Then you also see a couple of affiliate sites. And then you see an article which is just 200 odd words or 300 words or 400, 500 words, 600 words. These are ranking on the first page. These are definitely not very detailed articles. And I'm very confident that if you're able to write a, a good thorough article, a good 1200 word meaty post, then you should be able to outrank some of these queries and perhaps even rank number one on Google. Now, once you've identified some of the low hanging fruits over here, the next thing that you can do is add some of these keywords to your list. So you can click on multiple keywords like so. And if you think that these are low hanging fruits, so you can just select these keywords and I'm just going to add these to a list. Now I have already created a list beforehand, but you can easily create a list by clicking on create a list option over here. So I'm just going to click on printer keyword list, and this is going to add all these results that we selected to the printer keyword list. Once you've saved the list, you can actually view your lists over here. Now the printer keyword list option that I showed you, I can view this list by clicking over here and I will be able to see all these uh, keywords that I added to the list over here. Now, one of the other cool things that Low Fruits does is kind of gives you a rating for every keyword that you've added to the list. So it tells you which ones you should be targeting first. This one clearly has the three out of five kind of a rating in my opinion. So this is definitely a better keyword to target uh, as per Low Fruits. And you can see that for every single keyword that you have added to your list. You can also access all your reports that you have analyzed using the seed keyword or if you have looked for a search term, you can look at all of the reports for those keywords over here and you don't have to keep searching again and again. You can just access them right over here in this section. Now, I previously mentioned about the import section. You can easily import and analyze keywords in bulk using this section, this tab over here. If you have an external list of keywords, you can input the data over here. You can copy and paste them over here. Just make sure that you enable PAA queries and uh, enable extract related queries as well. That's what I would recommend. And then just click on import. And what this tool is gonna do is just, again, do something similar. It's gonna analyze the search results page. Now do keep in mind that every single keyword that you put in over here is gonna consume one credit. So this is basically how you would do keyword research using uh, Low Fruits. So that's my review for Low Fruits keyword tool. I hope this video was very helpful for you. This medium, by the way, is something that I love. I really like the fact that I'm able to share my experiences with you guys and also share with you everything that I'm doing in blogging, everything that I've learned in blogging, and also learn from you guys and what you are doing and what is working best for you guys. So if you have any tips, if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions or anything that you would want to share with me or ask me, do make sure that you use the comment section below and share your comments with me. I do read all the comments that you guys share with me and also try to answer as many comments as possible. So make sure that you do that. Give this video a like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in my next video.